Today we're going to be taking it back to the good old days when there was just good classic zombie mods and this zombie mod is the Dead Trigger NPC pack. Now what is Dead Trigger? Well, it's actually a mobile game. Funny thing, you wouldn't expect that, usually it's like a source game or something like that. But this is a mobile game that came out in 2012 and there's a sequel as well. And as you'd probably expect, it's a first person zombie, well, survival game, so to say. We can see this guy is number 666 uh, of the Zombolipic game. Games? With it? Really? With a Z? Anyway, this is the Zombie Athlete, and aptly named because, well, if you couldn't tell, he is definitely an athlete at the Zombolympic... I can't even say that. Zombolympic. There we go. At the Zombolympic Games. Um, he doesn't have a lot of health, but you'll see that when we let him loose, he is definitely not afraid to hunt us down. In which case, when he does get to us... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. Fuck me, we're going to the back rooms. Turns out if you die by NPCs, that also counts as technically clipping through a wall. Anyway, this is a mini mod showcase. Welcome back, guys. Glad to be back. It's been pretty much two months since we started doing everyday videos, and I have not broken the cycle yet. So I'm very proud to say that this is the longest I've gone without missing an upload in my entire channel's life. Within 10 years, I have never gone this long. So this is a huge achievement to me, and I wanna thank you guys, of course, for making me able to put up with all the content. Like I said before, he dies pretty easily, but damn, that model is absolutely <laughs> horrifying. Maybe a runner is more your thing. This is the zombie runner, female. And it's important to note we also have a zombie male runner. As you'd probably expect, Yes, they come after you. And something else that's pretty neat is there is variation. So even though we're summoning the same NPC, you should see variation. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and let them just stand still for a minute. Now, interestingly, I don't think the female one has variations, but the male one does, which is kinda sexist in a way. What the hell, dead trigger? All joking aside, we can see some variation. Like this guy's got this crazy full suit on with a hoodie, and then this dude's just got this like Carhartt or whatever the hell this thing is. There's not a whole lot of variation. We do have three different ones here. We got this one with the suit and the hoodie, this one with the standard suit, and then this one with like a cool ass jacket, you know? So some good variation there. Not crazy different amounts though. I mean, they all look relatively similar. And then again, the females do not get any variation in the runner, which is again, kind of lame. Now obviously the best thing about a zombie mod is how well they can swarm you. And this mod is no different. You can summon a bunch of them and hopefully they won't get stuck. For the most part, everything should be just fine. And when you're in the back rooms, well, you know what they say, anything can happen. Now it's important to note we do also have walkers. We have the female walker, which obviously does not run but walks. And we of course have the male walker. Wait, why is he green? No clue. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to take out these zombies. Now zombies naturally should not be super strong, you know, in terms of durability. It should be pretty easy to take out just because, you know, there's gonna be a lot of them. Oh! So when they hit you, not only do you rapidly lose health, but you also get slowed, which just makes the infection even more deadly. All right, so that's all fun and games, but let's see if there's even more we can take a look at. For instance, we got the zombie police. Wait, did he just throw something at me? Bro! What is that you're throwing at? Wait, what the hell? Is this some kind of strange exotic fighting style? <laughs> what did he throw at me? I hope it wasn't what I thought it was. Well, regardless, it looks like it's some kind of biotoxin and we are definitely taking some decent damage from it. Now, the police isn't really going, well, I mean, he's not gonna do a whole lot to you, except throw poop at you. Just kidding, he's probably puking or something. So let's go ahead and take him out. By the way, it's important to note, these NPCs do stagger which is kind of sick. What about the zombie SWAT? Oh, now this guy is pissed off. We can see the red in his eyes. He is ready to take us down, but we're not gonna let that happen. Oh, he's armored. So the SWAT unit is going to be heavily armored, which means even though he's got 150 health, good luck taking all that down, at least with the Half-Life weapons, that is. But we don't need the Half-Life weapons. We got the Arctic weapons, and it's going to definitely serve us pretty favorably here, but even with the arctic weapons, we're seeing difficulties with taking this guy down. This is honestly pretty intense. I recommend going for headshots. 
Wait, can we finish him with the crowbar? Ha ha! Half-Life wins again! And the final enemy is the boss, the Hulk. He spits out some green thing. What's with this whole spitting thing? I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, he's got a few melee attacks. Doesn't seem all that imposing. I got Ow. I gotta be honest, not really all that dangerous looking. Although when he slows you, that's a perfect time for him to hit you with his green blob he throws at you. Which makes the silliest noise, by the way. All right, buddy, 750 health, that's pretty respectable. Now, the funny thing is, even though he's got more health, I think the SWAT is still more durable because of that armor. I mean, let's go ahead and test it out. You asshole. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. And there you have it, my friends. That was the Dead Trigger NPCs. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like this? If you did, leave a like and subscribe. As always, all the links will be in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.